fourth, the fourth hole. You haven't lost it already, there have you? It is. It's not even got a head cover. Graham, here I am stepping in as the caddy for you for one hole. Okay. Thank you for allowing me to do you that. You got it. Let's dive into what really happens out here. Mm -hmm. First of all, I'm noticing you've got a course planner as well, yep. which you don't always see players have that. I use my course planner mainly for greens. I have my notes in and around the greens, but uh, when it comes to the tee to green stuff, I mean, obviously Kenny's probably has more of the information than I have. Yep. You know, I'm looking at the run out down that left side there at those chairs, which is 304 yards. I know I can fly this bunker on the left at 260, so to me, this is kind of just driver. The big stick. And, you know, there's plenty of room left here, so yeah, take take this hole on a little bit, because this is this is a hole which is kind of a birdie opportunity. Um, good drive, leaves a short iron, we can potentially make birdie, and okay. you, you might be hired after one hole. That is frozen rope. That's kind of where I was looking as well there. It's a gorgeous shot. Saying all the right things to me here, <laughs> talking me up. Perfect. I'm here to build the confidence. <laughs> so let's talk about you and Kenny then. You guys have been together for such a long time. Mm -hmm. You must feel like you're almost well. You are in a relationship of some variety. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I spend more time with Kenny than I do with my wife, which is <laughs> awfully scary because you know uh, I've been married for six years and I've been with Kenny for 13 years. So right. um, <laughs> no, it's a, you know it's a really important relationship. Yeah. Obviously, you spend a lot of time together on the golf course. Do you spend time off the course as well as on the course? Yeah, we eat we dinner together probably 50% of the time. Wow. Um, share similar interests in sport. And he's obviously a very, he's very good at his job, been yeah. out here for a very long time. How did you guys meet in the beginning? I was in the market and he was looking for a new bag. And, uh, you know, it's always just a, you know, when you're looking for a new caddy, it's a little bit of trial and error. Yeah. Do the personalities match up? Mm. Do you kind of like the way a guy talks you through a shot. Do you the way you like the way he looks at the golf course? So you need a guy who can give you can give you a kick in the ass when you need one. Yeah. And then a guy who's also very very good under pressure. That when you do get in situations where you know the intensity rises and it's tougher. Yeah. That he's a calming influence as well. You know. So it's kind of get you up when you need up and keep you down when you need to be down a little bit. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a big job, a very yeah. important part, a very important part of the whole team. And see, he's probably the most integral part of the team. Yeah, well, that's why golf's so unique, isn't it? Because it is an individual sport, but really, it isn't because you're always working in a team. Mm -hmm. You guys have had so much success. I mean, any memories that uh, jump to mind where you think, you know, we were we were really treading on thin ice there? Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> you know, like maybe we'll go to the negative part. Say, you know, three or four years ago, I wasn't playing very well. Um, things were a struggle and you know it, it always kind of makes the relationship a little bit more fragile because yeah. I'm on the golf course and things are going badly and you're always going to take it out in the person next to you you know so you know we've been on the verge of trying to fire each other a couple of times but uh, <laughs> Because golfers, they like to change things quite a lot. For sure. If you're not quite getting the performance, you're like, right, what can I change? Yeah, you know, the caddy's always the first guy to go, uh -huh. unfortunately, you know. But, uh, I mean, typically, you know, I take a step back, look at the bigger picture and realize that he's uh, he wants the best for me. Yeah. Um, but then on the good side of things, for example, 2010 Ryder Cup in the last match, playing Hunter Mahan, uh, very nervous after about 14 holes, and I'm walking to the 15th tee. And I said to Kenny, I'm like, Phew. I'm not sure I can do this, mate. I'm really, really nervous. Uh -huh. I, you know, I'm not sure I can, can keep this going. And he said something to me like, you know, you got this, calm down, you know, just focus and keep your rhythm. And I'm like, I, I'll tell you what, if you're feeling as relaxed as you sound, why don't you hit the shots going and I'll carry the bag, you know? But uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's just, see, he's such an important guy. He says yeah. he needs to say the right thing at the right time. Yeah, it sounds like you guys have really built that an amazing trust over the years. Yeah, exactly. Trust is the key, you know, yeah. it's, uh, you know, I got to, I gotta trust exactly what he's sending me. He needs to understand the way I see shots, the type of shots that I wanna hit in certain situations rather than, you know, very often, I'm not gonna hit a shot that he doesn't want me to hit, but at the same time, I gotta hit a shot that I'm comfortable with. Yeah, it's a fine balance. Yeah. Speaking of shots, we should probably let's hit your go, next let's go, shot. Let's go, let's go, look it. at this one. Six off the red. Six off the red, okay. Six off so the red, so that gives us uh, three red spots right here, 120 front. Yep. His, he's got more numbers on this than you do. Yeah, so this this is to this other front over here on the left side. Do you think the ball's going to jump out of this lie a little bit at all? What are you, what are you feeling here? Um, it seems like it's sitting pretty nicely. Okay. Um, is, that but, a no? is that a no, or are you kind of taking the, taking the fifth on that one? I'd uh. say that <laughs> it's probably not going to... It's not going to hold as much on the green, okay. so... Okay. We want to so try and... 
132, probably... couple uphill 34. I'm thinking uh, just a pretty stocky wedge here. Stocky wedge. Stocky wedge. You like that? Yeah, I like it. Okay. Straight at it. All right, like it. Sounds good. Mm, like that. Using the wind, in it comes. Perfect. Okay. That's a great right. shot. Very nice. See, the distance was good, so we call that good caddying, but it was a little directionally challenged, so that was the coach's <laughs> fault. That was the coach's fault. The coach's fault. fault. Where is the coach? <laughs> so, Graham, I've noticed just on your first two shots, I can hear almost like a sort of breathing routine. Yeah. Is that something? Am I picking up on that? Breathing heavily, I'm just nervous. <laughs> no, I mean, it's a little bit of a, it's something I've been working on a little bit the last year or so, a little bit of an out breath before I go into the ball, which is kind of just a, a you know, you, you some guys, some guys like to kind of, adjust their glove as a little bit of a switch on yeah um, guys just have nuances which is kind of like okay it's time to get in here and, and and be an athlete as opposed to you know golf's such a technical game you know we're always working on stuff and whatever so it's just a signal to me to say hey it's time to go play golf all right let's go and see if we can roll this in for all a birdie right. shall we? well we got a birdie chance here so uh, see what we can do great I suppose I better find the putter eh you haven't lost it already, there have you? It is. It's oh, not yeah, even yeah. got a head cover. Well, another good caddy story for for the the first week Kenny ever worked for me. He said to me, he pointed at my putter cover and he said, "Do you like this putter cover?" I said, "Yeah, it's kind of a nice putter cover." He said, "Do you have any more of them? Because I don't want you to get upset when I lose it." <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, That's very smart, yeah. actually. How many times do you see caddies running around with dropped putter head covers? Uh, well, absolutely. I mean, especially, you know, when you get in tough conditions, say it's raining, you know, the caddy's got umbrellas and towels. And yeah. He's trying to keep the player dry and he's trying to keep the clubs dry. And it's just one more thing to lose. You kind of need to be like an octopus at that point with eight arms to hang on to everything, <laughs> you know. So it's, uh, you know, when the sun's shining and the bag's light and yeah. there's not a whole lot of stuff to do, it's pretty easy. And how long has this putter been in the bag? Because it looks yeah. like it's seen a fair few rounds of golf. Yeah, this one's this one's seen a few rounds. This is probably, I don't know, 12, 12 years old or something like that. I have three of them. Well, you've got a fairly easy read here for your first one, I think. And I okay. mean, this is the type of read that Kenny wouldn't get called in for. He only gets called in for the uh, the very tough straight ones that could break both ways, you know? So you keep it all very much what you see, your yeah. pace. I mean, typically, I mean, putting's one of my strengths and I, you know, I, I will read greens probably 90% of the time by myself. Yep. But uh, every now and again, Kenny will get the call in and then he'll kind of be like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I really couldn't tell you where I'm going to start this putt, but I, you know, I can feel the curve and it's related to my speed, obviously. So um, I kind of just try and picture my curve. Looks lovely. Oh, very close indeed. It was very fast, that, yeah, it wasn't was it? pretty quick, a little bit. There's a lot of slope on this green. Very good. I could hear the breathing again. Such yeah. an important part, I can yeah, sense. Yeah, just before I take the, the putter head away, I like to get a little out breath. So, you know, this green has a lot of pitch to it. So the sort of thing that Kenny and I are doing at practice is that, you know, we know this side of the green is extremely slopey, so we would never, ever want to try and be long here. If we, if we did miss the fair, we didn't have a great lie would be favoring this front left corner as our as our leave yeah. so that we have an opportunity to get the ball up and down if required if we hit it over the back here it's Kenny and I tricky. Kenny and I would be having a little bit of a, a little bit of a chat about yeah. things you know <laughs> but uh, well Graham thank you so much it's been welcome. an absolute privilege to caddy for you for one hole I think Kenny's job is very safe so I'll leave you back <laughs> with him for now oh, you're level par level par this is pretty on good. to the next <laughs> thank you thanks, thanks, thanks a lot, thanks a lot. Thank you.